Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're we'll be doing something very interesting. It's going to be a 1v2 on Deathmatch. Now, for those who don't know, the map will be Michi. Let me go ahead and break down what's going on here. First, I'll introduce the opponents. Bear with me for a second here. It's important. Loot Machine at 1300 ELO. Good amount of games played. Zero to Hero. Cut the journey there. 1400 ELO. Very solid. Then you got me at 2700 ELO roughly. And this is just one of their accounts that they will be playing on a laptop, they will make a market in the corner, then resign, and we start playing at minute one instead of at minute zero. This just gives me a market so I can trade to, okay? That's the whole purpose of that account. Otherwise, Deathmatch starts us at max resources, or like a lot of resources, in post-imperial age, all the upgrades teched into, and we have 300 pop, we'll play, be playing on fast speed. A lot of action, the map is Michi, uh, they've got Tataris, Gurjaras. I'm going with Mongols. My ally is Spanish to get the trade bonus for some more gold. So I'm going to have 300 pop total. They're going to have 600 pop total. Let's go ahead and hop right in. I'll drop a good luck, have fun. And I've never done one of these before. I'm actually really bad on deathmatch, but we're going to start at minute one. Okay, so for the first minute, I'm just going to watch what my ally does. And uh, let him get me a market in the corner, pretty much. That's pretty, that's pretty much his only job. Um, this makes it fair. They can trade, I can trade, but I will have uh, extra resources uh, available as well. His gold to stones, like them. So it's going to be completely balanced, but I only have 300 pop and I'm 1v2. So it's it's very interesting. I'm, I have no idea what to expect, but I'm uh, I'm very much pumped and excited for this one. And this video had a little bit of a slower start, um, but it's bringing something completely different to the table. So I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. And I really have no clue. How to play deathmatch. So we're going to go ahead and figure this out on the fly. I played a few deathmatch games in my life. And I'm pretty bad at it to be honest. But let's see. I've gotten a better as a player over the last few years. So maybe I've got uh, a few hidden uh, skills up my sleeve. It's taken a while to load. But I think that's just because he's on laptop. So it's completely understandable. Um, but if it takes too long. I'll just edit it out. If it's just a few more seconds. Then it's fine as well. No problem. All right, there we go. Not a problem at all. So he's going to go ahead and get me the market in the corner. There it is. Uh, do I have volume here? Nice. He's going to split them out. We can start at two minutes. Because he needs more time. Yeah, we'll start at two minutes. Instead of one minute. So he's just going to make the market, then he'll resign. Yes. All right, there we go. Okay, make, he's making them in the most inefficient way possible. Send one here, one there. <laughs> All right, so we start with nine villas and a hussar. Map is Michi, so there's obviously a lot of wood. It's fully explored. We're going to start at two minutes sharp. And he's got me three markets well spread out so I can trade. Uh, All right. We're going to start at two minutes. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Uh, obviously, you can see the ton of resources for me. I got the markets. He's going to resign. Kill the villas. Perfect. Three, two, one. All right. Uh, castle, castle, castle. Castle opening is usually quite slow in deathmatch. One, one on each building is very much needed, by the way. 300 pop as well. I'm trying to place them well, but I'm I'm failing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm failing. And these guys are deathmatch players, by the way. My advantage should be speed, I guess. One for the trade. They can easily cut on the other side, so I have to watch that out. Get this. So trading. Selling his goods. Yeah, 
You never made the fourth market. Come on, homie. Focus. I want to try to cut fast. Out of wood, what? How? Oh my god, what's going on here? Holy moly, the commentary is lacking on this one, guys. I'm focused. Normally, they have a treaty on this, by the way. I shouldn't have sold wood, after all. I had a cavalier by accident. Oh! It's, it's about to be sick. Oh, we're getting lit for sure. I almost turned to pop. What the hell? Boys, when I say spend your resources, that's what I'm talking about. I said, I splurged. Everything's gone. Flaming camels. <laughs> what? Oh, what? That's by time. They're used to the treaty. Get in there. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Same cow with this meta, I guess. Alright, I, I need more SO. I should not have sold stone, by the way. Uh, sold wood, sorry. What the hell? Camels are meta. <laughs> no cavalier. Oh, it's so hard to keep track of this. Trade cards. There's so many idle bills there. I just delete some, I just delete some, it's fine. I don't have any food though. 
I guess, do, I, do I need farms? Oh, there's some serious T90 farm action. Holy moly. These are not little shots. I've got a lot of food. I just made the farms. How did I spike the food so much? Not this again. The flaming camels are meta. They're so good. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> what is this? Oh god. I did not expect to have this much fun. I, I knew Deathlife was sick, but this is something else. I didn't expect to see flaming camels. <laughs> I thought they picked Tiptar for CA. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm SOing, I'm SOing. I need a cut. God. What? What is this? How do I even stop that? I have to get to the economy. Did you spread formation? It's not so bad. <laughs> the ends up in the corner just getting shit on. <laughs> EBT, eh? Shooting at the gate is really good because this has to come in. Maybe I can go Rams? I'm playing a BBT by myself. Just like that, the flaming camera. Let's see if I can set some cred. Oh, we need auto reset. We need it. I'm not even sure if. Persian is the best, best match. Uh, Mongol is the best deathmatch sieve, by the way. Oh, let me in. Yes, let me in. It just seemed decent, but apparently the tar is pretty damn solid. Couldn't quite get in there. Too many UTs. I need rams for that? Yeah, I guess rams are the best. How do Rams do against the Flaming Camel? We need less bills. We also to slowly lose. The Elite Mang of the SO combo is not nearly as strong as what he's got. 
Because he just patrols right after to land my shots, you know? And, you know these guys are like literally animal running at me. <laughs> what is this? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm getting decent trades though. I have to make sure like the I need my production to be top tier here. Oh that's a big shot. Oh that's nice. I'm hitting nice and shows. Oh I'm saying but nice nice little death ball here with the SOs though. I feel like I'm playing zombies, bro. Oh, how much do those cost? <laughs> Is this good trades or not? This guy. <laughs> what is this? What is this? The freaking flaming camels, man. Bro, oh, well, we need to be using this shit in RM, man. With the Taurus, best late game sim. God, like, it, the best part is this is Mangadai. SO. This is like one of the best comps in the game. At least the one, the one I know. Oh, they're getting gates. Like demos, demos are broken. And it's like the demo of the land. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I actually, I think I'm doing a good job holding on so far. By the way, like, I think we're not even doing bad. How did what beats this? Freaking flaming camel, eh? BBTs. Let's get a castle here. Oh, he goes for my castle as well. <laughs> it can't be worth it though. I'm trying to cut them off. The thing is, there's no way for me to kill them fast. This would even beat elephants because they have really big damage against elephants. Even the riders are really good against SO, by the way. And their their sisters are like insane. I swear I was confused when I saw target cars. I swear I was confused. I was like, shit, Mongols just shred these guys with SO. 
What am I supposed to think of flaming camels? Robots? No, we're actually holding them though. We're pushing back, we're pushing back. I'm fitting with this game. The comedy, the deathmatch, go with that for this. Don't even worry about it. Oh shit, it's nice and rich traps as well. <laughs> I saw her actually putting in work, by the way. this maybe I got his star for what though oh that's satisfying Okay. The stars are, I think the stars are breaking the charge with the camels. Oh God! Well, I, I swear this guy's got a better economy situ situation than me, probably. It's just endless. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> They're in the back lines! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can probably fight on a bit longer, I've got rest, but. I don't see a win condition. <laughs> Flaming Cavils! The best unit in the game, apparently. Did you want to play? This is a ton of fun, seriously. I had a blast doing this. God, that was so much fun. Look at the setup. These guys play this. They, they tell me. They told me they play nothing but this. <laughs> And it shows BBT three layer stone wall across the entire map. Look at this outposts, bomber cannons to prevent me from taking wood. These guys are experts, absolute experts. Look at that BBT setup. So now let's just break down their strategy because it was truly beautiful. The Tatar player goes flaming camel and has 19 range traps. So he is the pusher. He also has BBT, he is the pusher. The Gurjara player is a supporting role. He uses the Shuramsha Rider and the Camel to kill people that are trying to snipe the siege or make plays. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a ton of fun. <laughs> Nonetheless. Yeah, no, no worries. Like, it, was, it was a blast. So the Gurjara plays a supporting role with the Camel and the Rider. The Rider is really good for his SO because the shield of the Rider tanks even an SO shot. I see Jonathan shot. So the Gajaras played a supporting role of diving siege and defending their own siege. Incredible. Uh, I don't even know what this is set up here of stone walls. Look how they're making their stables, bro. Look at me. It's a freaking, it's a, it's a fiesta over here. Just slapping them down. <laughs> uh, their base looks so pretty. What the hell is this? Look at their organized trade routes. They had a much better layout than I did. I, I actually question, can I 1v1 one of these players on this setting, honestly? I'm not sure. I mean, probably I can, but it wouldn't be easy. It definitely wouldn't be easy. 
they know how to play this way better than I did. Look at that. I was like a beginner to them. Bomber cannon on the wood line is so good as well. Because like you just... It doesn't matter how expensive it is. You have infinite res. But you just kick him off so many trees, right? God. Great game. Let's take the stats here. <laughs> the, K the KD. <laughs> yeah, th this guy, it was a supporting role. His KD was pretty bad, but it doesn't matter. And my KD was insane because of the Siege Honitors, but... In the end, it didn't really matter. Research collected. Yeah, their economy was way better than mine. Uh, trade profits is way more. Despite me having Spanish, didn't really change anything. And they boomed to 293 bills. Uh, I didn't have the luxury. I had to push fast, but I guess it wasn't fast enough. God. Red underperformed. <laughs> Insane game, though. Insane game. Uh, well, let me know if you guys enjoyed this one. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.